Hello creators, welcome and welcome back to the channel. By the way, I'm really sorry for my, my audio today. I have a cold and sinus problem today, so that's why I'm sounding a little bit different than usual. But I wanted to put this video out for you guys, so I'm filming no matter what. In today's world, if you're on social media, you must know video editing. Because every single social media nowadays is like a video sharing platform. But video editing sometimes can be very challenging. It can be very overwhelming. Especially when you want to edit like pros. Like adding those cool effects, the amazing transitions and the most difficult one the color grading part and the newest one came out which is the animated subtitle these are all overwhelming this is a lot of work but fear not my friend today i've got you covered i'm going to teach you step-by-step -step video editing using CapeCut. it's going to be simple and easy to follow but full of pro level features So before we start, let's go ahead in the description. There is a link to download CapeCut. You can either download onto your phone, your computer, or your tablet. But make sure you have the app. I will also put the link to some of the website where you can download some sample videos so you can follow along with me. When you open CapeCut, you will see this window. Click on create project. You can rename your project at the top of your screen. Click on these numbers and rename it. Now if you see the screen, you will see a lot of things on CapeCut. But fear not and don't get overwhelmed because I will walk you through all of them step by step. By the way, there is also a timestamp in the description of this video. So if you want to hop on to some specific topic, you can just do it from there. First step is importing your videos and files into CapeCut. You can click on this import icon to select your files from your computer or you can simply drag and drop them here. Once your videos are in the project, select them and bring them to your timeline. A timeline is where all the magic happens. Next, let's fix the aspect ratio. The aspect ratio determines how your video will play. For YouTube long videos, Vimeo or TV, go for the wider aspect ratio 16 by 9 or choose 9 by 16 for vertical platform like YouTube Shorts, TikTok and Instagram. Let's start with 9 by 16 because we are making our first YouTube Shorts. Once you have selected the aspect ratio, you will have some videos with this black background. To fix this, one, you can increase the scale. The other way to fix it, go to basic and scroll until you see canvas. Make sure it is checked and from the drop down menu, select the blur. You have four options here, select the one you like. Now if you see CapCut has created this blurry background from your actual clip. And if you click on this apply to all option, it will do the same for all the videos in your project. Video editing is all about removing all unwanted and extra shots and showing only the best part. We can remove those extra unwanted part by using cuts or splits. Bring your mouse to the beginning of the video and drag it to the part where you want to cut. You can do the same from the end of the video. The second way to cut your video is using splits. You have this video and you want only the middle part of it. Bring your playhead. By the way, this white line is called playhead. Bring this to the part where you want to add a split and click on the split button here. Do the same for the other parts and now you have your video into three parts. Delete the first and the third part and leave the middle as you want it. By the way, there is a shortcut key to add a split in Cape Cut. Just press Command B or Control B and it will make a cut wherever you want it. The next thing we are going to learn is how to add music, voiceover or sound effect into your video. Next to media is the option as audio. Click on it and you will see the categories as music, sound effect, copyright, extracted and brand music. Click on music and here you'll find a whole gallery of free music. Just click on play button to play. And if you like any music, click on this plus icon to bring it into your timeline. You can adjust the position of your music where you like to start or where you like to end. You can also cut the music into half by either using split or cut method which we just learned few minutes ago. Even though these musics are free, I highly recommend you to download music from some other free source. One of the best one is YouTube Free Music Library. Because a lot of CapeCut musics are copyrighted, you can only use them on TikTok. If you bring them to Instagram Reel or YouTube, you might end up getting a copyright claim or a strike. Next click on the music and go to the basic on the right top. Here you can adjust the volume of your music. You can add a fade in and fade out effects to give a professional editing to your music. In CapeCut you also have this loudness normalized option. This features automatically adjust the volume of your music based on other files in your project. To add your own music, go to media and import. Select the music you want from your computer and bring it to your project. Like this, you can do the same with the sound effect. Click on sound effect options and you will see a gallery of hundreds of sound effects. 
click on play again to see what it sounds like and click on the plus icon to add it to your project. If you're looking for any specific sound effect, you can also search in the search bar. Another cool feature CapeCut has is recording your own voiceover directly into the project. Click on this mic icon. It will open a small window for you. Here select the recording device. If you want, you can adjust the recording volume. To be honest, for now just leave it like that. If you are in a big hall or a house where your audio is going to echo, then click on this box and when you are ready, hit record. It will give you 3 seconds to get ready. Once you are happy with your recording, close this window. Now on your timeline, you have this new recorded audio file. Like music, you can also move around your recorded file. You can adjust the volume, add fade in and fade out effect as well. When you are talking, you might also take some pause and fumble like I do a lot. You can also add cuts and get rid of the patch you don't want in your recorded file. Nowadays, videos are not complete without text because text conveys the key important messages in your videos. And adding effects to your text like animations, pop out, draw attention and increase engagement and the understanding of your audience. To add text into your video, click on this text icon and you will see two options, auto captions and add text. I will explain you auto captions by the end of this video, but for now, let's focus on adding text to your video. So click on add text. Here you can select the style you want from these presets or you can select the default and design it later however you like. Let's say you want to start with this black and white style. Click on this plus icon to bring it to your project. By default it has ABC. Click on the layer and go to text on the right top. Click on the basic and next to the text click and delete ABC and now write the text you want. Below you have options to change the font, the size of your text. In color sections you can change the color. Let's say you want to go with blue. Now scroll down all the way until you see stroke. Click on the color below to stroke and change the color from white to your liking. I will pick red. It's kinda look funny, but hey, it's just for fun. Now click on your text and move around to place wherever you want on your screen. Once your text is ready, now let's add some effect to it. Click on the text and go to animation on the top right. Here you will see three categories, in, out and loop. Let's go to in and select the typewriter effect. I like it and I think it looks cool. Now let's go to out category and select the pop down. Let's play and see how it looks. And remember one thing, if you don't like any of these things, you can always change them. Nowadays videos on social medias are full of those visual elements like emojis, like icon and sometimes simply like and subscribe button. You need those visual elements to add some visual interest to convey your message and sometimes you just need some actions from your audience without saying a word. To add these visual elements in Cape Cod, go to stickers to see all the categories of stickers. If you have anything specific in mind, you can search them in the top search bar. Once you find the one you like, click on this plus icon to bring it to your project. In Cape Cod, some of these stickers have animations and some don't. But you can always add effects and animation to these icon as per your like. Let's say you like this subscribe icon. It is plain and not too appealing. Click on the stickers layer and go to animations to the top right. Again, you will see three categories, in, out and look click on in and select spring it's like pop in effect it's really trending right now now go to out and select slide down let's see how it looks but once again if you don't like any of this thing you can go ahead and change it as per your life the next thing you need to add to your video is transitions because nowadays videos are not complete without cool transitions. So next to effect we have transitions. Click on it and you will see this different categories of transitions. To add a transition to your video, bring your playhead onto it. Transitions are applied on the right side of the playhead. I have my playhead here and I want to apply this transitions onto these two files. Like usual click on this plus icon to apply. Now click on the transitions you applied and go to top right. Here you can adjust the duration of your transitions. Like how long you want your transitions to last. Slow or fast. You also have this option that lets you apply the same transitions to all the cuts. Click on it if you want the same transitions to all videos. And of course you can change it later if you like. Just simply click on the transitions you like and it will replace the current one. Few years from now this is all you needed for your video. But today 
Social media requires more than that. It demands more effects. It demands more visual elements and more special effects. And luckily, CapCut has a full gallery of free created effects for you. Just simply click on the effect on the top. In effects, there are two categories, video effects and body effects. Let's say you want to add a party type effect. Go to the video and search for party. Here you have this party related effect for your videos. I like the scanning category. So go ahead and look for the scanning and select the Blu-ray scanning. And if you plan to apply body effect, make sure there is a human figure in your video because as of now, CapCut understands only human body. So let's apply this one of the most trending body effect on social media, flame eyes. Click on this plus icon and there you have it. The next trending thing you can add to your video is talking head overlay on the video itself like this. This is very useful for gaming and tutorial video. To add this effect, first bring the video onto your timeline. Now go to video and masking and select circle. Adjust the size of your mask from the corner pins and now move around to select the area you want to cover. Now go to basic, here you can adjust the size and the position of the entire clip. Do you remember I told you I will talk about the auto captions later? Well that later is now. Auto captions with animations is one of my favorite features in CapeCut. And to be honest, it is actually much better and more user friendly than Premiere Pro. So I have this video and I want to add a caption to it with a trending animation. Click on the video and go to text and select on auto captions. Select the language and click on create. Now CapCut has created this plain captions for you. Click on the layer and go to caption and scroll down to all this text. You can fix any spelling error or any mistake you have. And if you see these captions like a paragraph, click on it and hit enter. You can split them into two. Now select the text layer and go to basic. Inside the basic you have these options as template. Go to template and select the one you like. I wish there was a name for all these template but there's no name. You can see the preview though. I'm going to select this one because I like this one. It changes color word by word. After that go to basic again and here you can change the font, the size and the color of your captions. If you're still watching this video that means you're enjoying it and you're learning something from it. If you are Please give a thumbs up to this video and subscribe to this channel. Majority of my viewers are not subscribed. Please do subscribe so that you get notifications of every single video I post. Alright, too much of me talking. Now let's get back to CapeCut and learn the next step in video editing. Videos without color corrections and color grading is like Indian food without spicy. They would look good but they won't taste good. That's why you need that color correction and color grading to make the spice up your videos. So let's get back to CapCut and see how we can make our Indian food more tasty or tastier. I think one of the two words is right. Click on your video and go to adjustment on the right top corner. Here you will see basic HSL curve and color wheels. We will learn the basic today but if you want to learn more about it write in the comments and I will make another separate video all about color corrections in Cape Cod. In basic scroll down until you see adjustment. Here first you have temp and hue to fix the white balance of your video. Next you have saturation which is used to adjust the saturation of the entire video. Below that you have a brightness, contrast, highlight, shadows, whites, black and luminance. I want you to play around with these sliders and find the best and sweet spots for your video. Once you are happy with your color correction, now it's time to add color grade to your video. Here you can apply the LUT if you have your own. The second option is to go to filter on the left top. Here you will see the full gallery of free LUTs from CapeCut. Double click on any style you like to see the preview on your video. And as usual, if you like it, click on the plus icon to apply to your project. CapCut will create a separate layer for you which you can adjust based on your video or you can apply to the entire project. And now is the final, the grand finale of this course, exporting your video with the right setting. Once you are happy with everything, click on export on the top right. Here you can change the title of your video you like. In export 2, you can select where you want your video to be saved. In resolutions, you're gonna select 1080p which is the most common but you can pick 4K but trust me, you don't need 4K for social media. Bitrate, Kodak, Format, leave them as they are. In frame per second, make sure you have 30 frames and and finally hit export. Once this is complete, your video is ready to share wherever you like. I hope you found this video valuable to your time. If you are still watching this video, then I have a gift for you. There's a link in the description for 50 LUTs pack for CapeCut and Premiere Pro. 
the actual price for this LUD pack is $25, but if you use the code on your screen right now, it will be free for you. LUDs are amazing and easiest way to add mood and emotion to your videos. But if you want to learn more about color correction and color grading in TapeCut, make sure to watch this video and I hopefully see you there.